All right, this is the final lesson. Now, the thing I recommend this being is a two doctor and a nurse technique. One of the doctors should actually be looking at the heart with the ultrasound machine because this catheter is actually quite, quite uh, radio dense. And when you ultrasound dense, you'll be able to see that that tip and when it's in the ventricle. So as you're inserting, and you'll also be able to look for complications. So as you're inserting this, if you watch it keep going, and then suddenly you have a systole, and you're starting to do chest compressions because they go into asystole, what could have potentially happened is you punctured through the free wall, which is a known complication of this, because you're putting this into patients who potentially have a very weak wall, and you are inflating a balloon into this and shocking with electricity. So if you puncture it through the free wall, it's going to be cardiac tank. And if that occurs, then I recommend getting a very long needle and doing a pericardiocentesis, which is beyond the scope of this. But if you're in a pinch, you can always use this 18-gauge needle that comes in the catheter. And when you put it in, you can actually thread the 18-gauge in there and then suck off as much blood as you need. Um, if that happens, the first call you should make is to your CT surgeon, because they will need to come down and help you out. And if you're not at a CT surgery center of excellence, it's yet another reason why doing this procedure where you don't have backup to be able to support the complications is kind of fraught with a little bit of peril. Uh, so you have to take uh, every procedure that you have and think of, like, what can I do to mitigate risk if something bad were to happen? So that's the last uh, lesson. So in summary, lesson one was just getting used to all the equipment. Lesson two was learning to deflate the balloon. Lesson three was to do a, to uh, inflate the balloon and advance it.